Let's talk about sound effects and how they can make your stream podcast even better using the built-in sound effects or your own sound effects using the touch sensitive pads and Gigcaster. Let's have some fun. So Gigcaster has eight pads where you can assign different sound effects to them. Hot little tip, if you want to know what buttons are assigned to which, you can swipe the screen to reveal what these pads do. In this particular case, we have the default set of sounds, which is the snare drum roll, applause, orchestra, all of which are made to add a little spice, a little bit of zing to your podcast or live stream. Like I said, you can assign these to any type of sound. You can load them via the editor. We know that eight sounds is probably not enough. So we have eight banks available for eight different sounds in each bank. You can customize these banks to whatever you want and you can add your own sounds via the editor. We have a large amount of built-in sounds available for you to choose from. Let's check out some of them now. Click the hamburger icon in the top right corner and then select pad. You have your eight pads available to you there. Select one of them and you'll see the file. So you select file and you can scroll through all the different sound. There's some juicy favorites on here. Kalimba, jaw harp, oh, marimba, whew. We're gonna have some fun with that one. Whether you're using the internal built-in sounds or your own custom sounds, there's a variety of different ways you can customize these. You have one shot or loop mode. You can have the buttons act as a momentary switch or a toggle switch. And then you can also choose the level of each individual pad. You can reverse it. You can add pitch and speed effects, all fun tools to take your stream or podcast to the next level. You can even take this a step further and add effects to the sound pads. Simply just press the channel button for sound pad and in these you can add delays and different effects to further customize your sound pads. You also have the ability to duck the sound of the sound pads, say if someone's talking. Simply go into general, turn on ducking. That way if someone's talking, if you hit the sound pad, it will duck the level until that person is done talking really good so you're not super annoying with the pads, but you're making just enough of an impact to make it a fun stream or podcast. So that's the sound pad function of Gigcaster. Pressing the effects button will change the pads over to adjusting parameters that you've set up in Gigcaster. What's really, really neat about Gigcaster in this particular regard is you can have multiple parameters set up per pad. All you do, press the hamburger icon in the corner press pad and in the effects pad menu, select a pad and you'll see you have four different functions that you can assign per pad, A, B, C, and D. Select the category, the function, all your different settings and you can have multiple things happen at once by the press of one pad. If you're a streamer and you're using a program like OBS Studio, you can actually send MIDI messages via these pads as well. So if you want to trigger scene changes in your stream, using these pads is a very simple and effective way to do that very quickly. So that's the touch pads of Gigcaster. They're a fun way to get creative, add a little pizzazz into your workflow, and it's just a great way to express yourself and have a little bit of fun with whatever it is you're doing. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.